All right. We're going to go right to Dustin. Welcome back. Short break. We would love to welcome world number one Dustin Johnson to the interview area. Dustin, the 2016 U.S. Open champion, is making his 13th appearance in the championship. He was just named player of the year by the PGA Tour. Um, we're going to go right here in front of you, Dustin. Dustin, can you just describe what has come together for you? For you during this restart to win three tournaments like you have and and play as well as you have during this whole time what do you see working for you and how does it apply out here um yeah i mean i've obviously i've just put in a lot of good work um you know i feel like the you know it, it's nice to see the the work that you're putting in you know to be able to take it on the golf course and in the golf tournament so it's yeah it's i don't know i spent a lot of time with claude and and my brother working on the putting. And so, um, yeah, everything just seems to be clicking right now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I've definitely had to put in a lot of work to, to get to where I'm at. And, I mean, obviously, yeah, the, the game's good. And it, it feels good. And so I'm very pleased with it. And if I could follow up, you mentioned the putting. A lot of people have talked about the routine being much different from the past. How important has that change been to your success? Yeah, I mean, yeah, with putting, it's, you know, if you look at every week, the you know, the guy who's winning or, you know, if you're going to have a good week, you got to putt well. And so it's just something that, you know, I've been working on. I started using a line, and it, it's definitely helped me out a lot, just especially, like, inside 10 feet, you know, starting to make a lot more of those. And But, yeah, I mean, I've had to practice with it because it's something new and had to get used to you know, using a line and, and to line up. We're going to go here to the WebEx. You know, the U.S. Open used to be known for being won by short, accurate players. In the last few years, it's been you, Gary Brooks, kind of longer athletic guys. What's your theory as to why, and do you think that will continue? Mm. Can't tell you why, but, I mean, it's, you know, obviously the golf courses, you know, make a, make a, bit, a difference, but, you know, U.S. Open, it's you got to drive it straight, especially at this golf course. I mean, you have to hit the fairways, um, you know. And then once you hit the fairways, it's not it doesn't get much easier from there either. But you know, it, you really have to hit the fairways. The rough is, I mean, it's not super deep, but it, you just can't play out of it. You can't control the golf ball, and you can't you can't get to the greens from it. So, um, you know, it, it's definitely a premium on hitting fairways, but. You know, the golf course is in fantastic condition. It's, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this week. It's going to be a good challenge, but I like it. Uh, we're going to go right here. Dustin, in terms of difficulty, where does this golf course rank among some you've played, and how aggressive can you be with it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I haven't played in a tournament yet, but so far it seems, <laughs> seems very, very hard. And, you know, one of the harder ones I've ever played. So, but, you know, it's, it's fair. You know, there's nothing real tricky about it. You just gotta, you gotta hit good shots. Um, will you back? Will you hit driver as often as you would like, or will you back off? Some? I mean, there's there's holes that I can hit driver and and play aggressive on, but you know, there's a lot of holes where I'm hitting iron off the tee. You know, just because of the way it shapes. Um, you know, I don't like to to draw the driver, so I got a lot of holes where I've got to, you know lay back a little bit just because you got to hit it in the fairway and, and driver kind of runs out of room, especially the fairways are firm and fast right now. So the ball's running out pretty good. And there's a there's a lot of holes that are difficult shots to get it in the fairway. We're going to go back to the WebEx. How would you compare the difficulty of this in Oakmont? It's very similar, I think, um, you know, golf course wise. The only difference is off the tees at Oakmont, there's no trees in your way. All the way on the left? I, I read that you had never been here until recently. Is that is that true? Well, I thought so, but I guess somebody was telling me I played a NetJets outing here 10 or 11 years ago. But I want to say I don't think we played the the West course. I think we played the other one because I don't remember one hole. So we right. must have played the other course. So when were there any surprises or anything eye-opening to you when you did get to play it? No, just from talking to some of the guys that, that have been here, you know, I knew it was going to be difficult. I actually watched one of the videos I think the USGA put out. Um, so I got a little bit of an idea on, on the golf course. 
it's kind of a drone flyover video. So I had a little bit of, you know, of an idea of what it looked like and what it was going to require. But, um, you know, coming here, obviously, you know, watch, I watched some of the 2006 U.S. Open. You, you know, it's, it's a tough golf course. And, you know, you, you got to go out and play golf your ball around here if you want to shoot a good score. But the greens now are, are bigger than they were in 06. By, uh, I mean, these are, the greens are pretty unusual, don't you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know about unusual. They're they're difficult, but it's uh, I think it fits the golf course very well. And, you know, all, a lot of the greens are, are real similar, you know, with all the slopes. And, you know, there's, there's you know, a, a, only a certain area on the greens that are usable. But... Um, yeah, I think it's good. It's going to be a good test. You got to, you know, like I said, drive into the fairway. Then you got to hit good iron shots because you got to hit them the right distance. Um, back here to the chat. Um, what is the worst lie you've had this week? And can you just explain what it was like? Um, yeah, I mean, you can get some pretty good ones in the rough. <laughs> but I've been able to advance them down the fairway, not necessarily get it on the green or to the green. But I haven't had any that I couldn't get out. We're going to go right here. Uh, Dustin. You've you shot 30 under in Boston, but you've also proved you can win on these layouts where you know par is a good score. Is there an adjustment you make in your mindset, you know, for a course like this? And and then second part, Rom said that the long hitters are still going to have the advantage here because they'll be so much farther if if they're in the rough, they'll be so much farther down. They still might be able to get it on. Yeah, I mean it's obviously there's. You're, you've got a completely different mindset when you're playing a, a course like TBC Boston where, you know, it was soft and, you know, the greens are really good. So you could attack every flag with, you know, didn't matter what club you're hitting. Um, you know, here it it's just completely different mindset. Obviously, we played, you know, I've been fortunate enough to play two really difficult golf courses the last couple of weeks, which was Olympia Fields and East Lake. You know, they're both golf courses where you have to drive it in the fairway. And then, you know, even when you're in the fairway, it's, it's not that easy to get it close to the hole. So, you know, coming in here, obviously the game, we've been playing courses like that. So, so kind of used to it, but um, yeah, you just gotta, for me, it's just pick whatever club I think I can get it in the fairway with and go with that and, you know, then go find it and hit it again. Right here. Dustin, with the kind of season you've had, do you put more expectation on yourself going into this U.S. Open? What's your no, mindset like? No, I mean, I'm playing well. I've got a lot of confidence in the game, but no, I'm not putting any extra ex ex expectation. I mean, I expect to play well every week, but coming here, I mean, it's just, you know, it's a golf course where, you know, hopefully the, the game's in good form right now. Hopefully it stays in good form for, for the rest of the week, but... You know, it's one of those golf courses where it's very difficult and, and, you know, you need to be spot on if you want to play well. Is there – what stands out most from watching that 2006 U.S. Open on TV? I mean, you can just – you know, from what I remember, obviously it was a long time ago, but, I mean, if you're driving in the rough, you're going to struggle to make pars, and that's just how it is. It's – you know, but, but there's enough room to hit the fairways. Right here. Is tour life now – um, busy to the point where, like in the past, guys would play here or Quaker, where, you know, now guys are kind of seeing it on video. Is, is it just when you're done, you want to put the clubs down and get away? Is it changed a little bit because there are so many more demands on, on your generation? Well, uh, I didn't quite understand. So the in the past, we had a PGA Tour event here in Westchester. Some of the guys would come over and play here, play Quaker Ridge, play Sleepy Hollow, some of the historic courses. But the, it was different then. So is, is life busy now with what, what, everything that you guys are asked to do where it's harder to do that? Well, it depends. I mean, obviously, this is a major, so you're focused really, you know, a lot on this golf course. But if we had an event down the road, a regular tour event, I would, I would probably try to sneak out here and get around in. All right. Thank you, Dustin. Good luck this thank week. Thank you.